Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. So in the previous video, we discussed about the first challenge of consensus protocol that is protect against attackers. Now in this video, we will discuss about the second challenge that is the competing chain. Okay, so what happens when two miners mine blocks at the same time? Let's say these two miners mine two blocks at the same time, the green and the orange block. So this miner will distribute the newly mined block to the network at the same time. So here, what happens is the nodes which are near to the orange block miner will add orange block to their chain. And similarly, those nodes near the green block miner will add green block to their chain. And now since the block need to be distributed to the whole network, there will be a conflict. This node will say, hey, you must add orange block to your chain. But this one node will say, no, you should add green block to your chain. So we got the issue here, which is the competing chain challenge. Now, how do we solve this competing chain challenge? If you notice, it is similar to the Byzantine fault tolerance we discussed. There we encountered the conflict regarding the attack and retreat message. Here we encountered the issue regarding which block should be added. So in blockchain, we have a principle that says longest chain will win. Now if you look here, the number of blocks are same for both green and orange block chain. So what they would do is wait for some time until couple of more blocks are added. The one who first adds new block to their chain will have more number of blocks and according to the longest chain principle, that chain win. And the rest of the node must replace with that longest chain. So let's say this node adds new block first. It adds another orange block and now we distributed newly added block to the network and so the number of block in this chains are more than the green block chain. So the orange block chain wins and as per the longest chain principle, now here in the green block chain, the green blocks are removed and replaced by the orange block chain. And then the blockchain goes back to the normal state. So this is how it's resolved this issue. Now you might be wondering what happened to those green blocks. Those green blocks now will be called orphan block, which we will discuss in the section 2, what happened to those orphan block. For now, understand that the miner that mined these green blocks has not received any mining reward for that green block. So this is all about the second challenge and how blockchain solves that challenge. And this is it. We have completed the first section of this long blockchain course. We have discussed immutable ledger, distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, hash cryptography, mining and finally consensus protocol. I hope that you have a good foundation of blockchain now. These are the blockchain fundamentals that will help you to understand more on section 2 and 3. So in the next video, we will look at the demo of the blockchain, then we wrap to section 1. And I would also like to suggest you this additional reading on short guide to the blockchain consensus protocol. I'll provide the link in the description. And I hope that you are enjoying this course. So on this note, I'll see you in the next video.